Hello, hello everyone. Uh, today I want to share a very very good news to everyone, to every Elementor users out there. Today Elementor has updated to Elementor 3.4, yeah, and it brings a new feature to add four more custom breakpoints. Yeah, here we have three breakpoints by default in Elementor web web server builder. And we can adjust the brick point, uh, brick point for these three, these three, uh, but that's not enough. Now we have different sizes, uh, um, different devices of different screen sizes, television, uh, la desktops, laptops, uh, landscape mode tablet, portrait tablet, landscape mobiles, uh, portrait mobile. So we need uh, all those brick points to make our website more responsive and, and looks professional in all different screen sizes. So, to meet the needs of these senses, Elementor also introduces introduces this new feature to add four more custom brick points. So today, let me show you how to add those uh, four more custom brick points. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. Go to Elevator Settings, Advanced. Oh, sorry, yeah, Experiments, and here, yeah, you have to enable this. Make this additional custom breakpoints active now it is currently in beta for in the future updates uh, this option will be active by default but for now this is optional so we have to make this active and save changes then we can go back to our uh, editing our web, um, web page for example let's edit this about a space takes a while okay make a lot yeah <laughs> element of website builder takes at least 30 seconds to load that's the only drawback <laughs> about this uh, beautiful and powerful website builder okay now let's go to uh, to site settings here site settings and layout breakpoints here we can add more breakpoints by default mobile and tablet is added now let's add mobile extra then tablet extra laptop and white screen okay four more breakpoints here now we have seven breakpoints in this website builder okay update this Reload now. For the breakpoint values, the pixels, uh, I I recommend you to leave the default settings. This default settings left by the element uh, team is uh, set to the standard. Yeah, accepted by almost everyone. So <laughs> better not to sense. Uh, make changes if you are not sure about it okay now go to responsive mode and you can see here seven breakpoints wow this is a huge milestone to responsive web design using Elementor website builder and I'm really thankful for the efforts and yeah Hard work from the Elementor team, and I hope you enjoy too. I think it, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yet it is a good news. At the same time, it is also a little trouble for web designers like us because it means we have to work more, double times more, uh, 
uh, to make our website responsive with Elementor, uh, before we need to make changes only twice for the yeah, tablet and for mobile mobile screen. But now we have to make these changes uh, repeatedly six times for white screen, for laptop, for yeah, uh, tablet landscape, for mobile landscape, and the default previous three screen sizes. So it means our work is doubling double times but the end result will be more far packed more professional and our clients will love it i think it, uh, this what's uh, what's all our efforts and hard work i'm very thankful so yeah i hope you like this new feature too if you find this video informative helpful don't forget to like this video subscribe my youtube channel Click the notification bell icon to get latest updates in, uh, about uh, Elementor, Website Builder and other yeah, related, related tips and tricks. I will be up, uh, uploading new videos every almost every day so you will get to see new ideas, new tricks, uh, new ways. You, you may get inspired somehow. That's all I am hoping for. Okay, see you in the next video.